Hey girl. My beautiful Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot general reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, Sagittarius, let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments, Saggy, as well. If you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe today, Sagittarius, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. Also, remember when it comes to this reading today, such a Sagittarius, to rely on your intuition. Because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Because I believe the cards are just here today, Sagittarius, to give you some food for thought, perspective for you to consider, darling, but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, honey, and not these cards. But with all that being said, let's get into this tarot reading, darling. The overall theme for this week for you, the overall message, Sagittarius, that you can, ooh, my table, aside from my table going haywire, darling, is the mouse spirit stepping forward for you. Didn't you guys, uh, Sagittarius, get some type of mouse for your last week's reading? Can someone let me know? Let me know in the comments, Sagi. Uh, number uh, 40 in numerology, but four rather for numerology, number 40, uh, mouse spirit tend to the small things. So this is a week uh, such a tears for you to start paying attention to the smaller detail on some things. What are those things, Sterling? Can't really say without some clarifiers, right? So let's start getting into some, some cards, honey, because that's why we're here, honey. We're here to get some cards, get some tea, honey. So let's see. King of Cups inverted for you. So, uh, Sagittarius, right off the bat, I want to say this seems to be a message for you guys to really be looking at the emotions that a lot of people, even yourself, right, would perceive as negative right now. So, like, if you're being triggered by somebody or by a situation, Sagittarius, take this time to look at why it is that you're being triggered, right? Um, you know, for those that are familiar with shadow work, right, this would be that time that we would throw in that cliche saying this is a good time for shadow work. But I don't even want to go into just simply that narrative, Sagittarius, because I do feel like with this mouse spirit, this speaks more so <clears throat> in terms of I'm seeing like a Sagittarius tinkering with gears. So I feel almost as if like <sighs> there's something like just not going according to your plan or going to according to your calculations where you're feeling like something's off, Sagittarius. I have like, a, I was like petting my cat to a before this and she just made left her mark honey with her cat hair but it feels like something you think something is off and i feel like there's just some editing that needs to happen so let's see we have the king of pentacles inverted for you so two kings right off the bat sagittarius inverted for you definitely something's off this week and i feel like whatever it is that's being off for you sagittarius this is more so a situation of where um you're overlooking what poss like you're overlooking of what it actually could be of what's setting you off balance because I do feel like it's a balance thing. We have the page of swords inverted for you. So is there a conversation not being had, Sagittarius? Are you biting your holding? Yeah, are you biting your tongue with something? Are you holding yourself back in some regard, right? Because it does feel as if this it's been like this subtle energy that has been creeping up because i am seeing a fog right now in my vision so it's just like or imagery rather i guess um so it is rep i'm taking this as a representation sagittarius for you guys that something that's just been slowly slowly creeping into you where it's like a, a slow burn almost i just heard where it's just um kind of reached its boiling point finally we have the Page of Pentacles coming in here. So yeah, something that's been like a slow burn that's just slowly been deteriorating, right? It's kind of like those rotten leftovers like day after day. Hasn't been cleaned out, darling. And so now, Page of Pentacles, there is action being taken this week in regards to this, right? It feels like there definitely is like a peak moment, uh, such a tears that you have with something. Um, one last one the world card in the reverse definitely it's almost like a creeping cycle or a creeping habit right it's something that you've probably battled with for a while for some of you Sagittarius this could be one of those things of where let's just say 
uh, you may have a bad habit of just letting things slip your mind, right? And it's just been a progressive thing of where it's just like, initially um you started forgetting to respond back to your co-workers right from a text message and then it started bleeding into your personal life you stopped responding being as good of responding to like your uh people in your family or you know in that degree where it's like it started as one thing and it's starting to uh, snowball into bigger things because of those small details that you're shifting now i am saying this is more so a foreshadowing uh Sagittarius, I don't feel like you guys are in full mode spiral yet. I don't feel as if you guys are going to allow that to happen, Sagittarius, right? But that may just be my bias coming in because Sagittarius is, if y'all don't know, Sagittarius is are like the sign that like i'm a libra so it's like sagittarius and libras are always like the most popular signs to be known to uh vibe out with one another because i feel like we understand each other the most um so i don't feel like you're going to allow it to happen uh sagittarius i just feel as if it's more along the lines of catching yourself now from those small details that this mouse represents does that make sense so now sagittarius let's get it a little bit into um what your guides have to say. My card already is trying to come out here. So the Fox Bear, I do want to point out, Sagittarius, I did just instantly, I was shown the totem of the Fox. Um, so normally I don't do this. Obviously I didn't say it for the mouse, right? I do feel as if like some of you Sagittarius is closely related to the Fox. And I want to say this more so in a more specific detail because like, I feel like a lot of people can just be like, oh yeah, I love a Fox, right? I feel like you already would be seeing, like, you already, like, outside of this reading, already know for a fact your uh, totem is a fox, or, like, you've probably seen signs of um, a fox in your life in the past few weeks. I'm seeing the number three, so I'm assuming, like, in the past three weeks or so. Dreams or noticing them. Um, and I'm just noticing this fox has like a mask, like a burlesque. I don't know if it's gonna really show on camera, but it shows like glasses or something. It's interesting. Um, so let's get into this a little bit more. This card says, think on your feet. So Sagittarius, is, this is definitely a place of where I'm being shown someone being fight or flight. So you're probably feeling a little bit out of your element right now, I would say, Sagittarius. If I can be bold enough just from what it is I'm feeling and the impressions I'm being shown. So let's take a, dive, a deeper look into this styling, right? We have the Six of Cups here. So you're thinking a lot about the past. Um, and I feel like it's just because of where you're currently at, Sagittarius. Is. Some of you guys are probably feeling more the most adulty that you've probably ever have felt in your life right now. I don't think I ever gave the numerology. 27 equaling to 9. So write that down, Sagittarius. But you probably feel the most adult that you ever feel right now. Or you probably feel the most human. And, you know, you probably... I would even be bold enough to say, Sagittarius, is you probably had an experience that reminded you that you're not invincible. Um, <laughs> and it's through that you re are reminded that you're an adult. Six of Cups shows to me you maybe some of you guys are going to be able to appreciate like how things used to be in your life in some aspect. Um, the only thing I want to tell you to be careful of, Sagittarius, is not to think too much about the past. If there's something from the past that you are reminiscing about, think of a plan of how you can replicate that but from a more elevated degree so it's fitting for your life than now rather than focusing so much on what used to be does that make sense i'm not going to try to go all life coachy on you sagittarius because i'm pretty sure you get the point right so we have the devil card coming in here this is really attached to, like i didn't know this card was coming darling because i wasn't looking but this is attached to already what i was warning about so i'm not going to continue running my mouth about it sagittarius but essentially yeah like you want to be careful about looking too far into the past don't make it too much of a habit focus on the now and think about what you're going to be creating you know i think it's a quote from tom ford where it's just like um something about those distractions or like those um something about like just basically just like focus on like what's in front of you don't look to side to side because that's what's going to scare you right focus on what your goal don't be looking at the details high priestess in the reverse you've been really ignoring your intuition lately Sagittarius you probably have been feeling a little bit out of touch which would make sense as to why you're reminiscing about the past a little bit you probably are feeling a little bit more of a dissociated state recently something I probably want to suggest because I do feel the urge to just like 
like snapping my fingers in front of some of y'all Sagittarius. I do feel like some of you guys need to like, not necessarily like wake up, but I feel like you need to like snap your fingers or like even like pinch yourself a little bit. Um, obviously don't go crazy with it, darling. I'm not trying to be responsible for some of y'all doing whatever, whatever. But um, just something to make, remind you that you're just like present. Just be like, hey Sagittarius, wake up. I mean, I mean, may even title your video this way if I can remember it, darling. Is titling is just telling you to wake up, right? Because I feel like you guys are in this like slumbering state just because you're so out of your element. Your coping mechanism is just to like dissociate and just like go into that fight or flight automatic mode without really feeling too much of anything. You probably feel numb right now, <laughs> Sagittarius. Let's close up this reading though. Close up this row with your guides. Three of wands and inver inverted. So yeah, I'm, this is a heavy beating. <laughs> Sagittarius, these spirit guide messages, they're beating you up, honey. Um, three of wands, definitely. Some of you guys may be a little bit um, spooked. With the three of wands, usually this is a card of movement. So when it's inverted, you could be having a little bit of regrets in terms of movement that you recently have had, or you just feel extremely uncomfortable with where it is that you're at and you're not really sure where to catch your bearings necessarily, Sagittarius. So all I want to say is like, again, like when you think about the messages of this fox spirit, I mean, what good does it tell you to do? But it does tell you to think on your feet, honey, right? So this is really going to be a time. I just feel like work on being more present as Sagittarius. Catch yourself if you're dissociating or like just go like not really connecting with what it is that you're doing, right? Um, being in like a daydreaming like state, a uh, dream like state. You want to get out of that, like wake up. All right, so now Sagittarius, let's get into uh, the good things that are in the works for you, darling, right? One of the good things that are in the works for my beautiful Sagittarius is the good thing that this card wanted to come out for you Sagittarius we have 28 equaling to 1 in numerology the frog spirit clear out the clutter so you are definitely clearing out the clutter uh Sagittarius self-explanatory <laughs> deep thoughts right there Velka all right what is it exactly that you're cl uh, clearing out though I mean naturally it, I feel like I think I even said Sagittarius because you had like the chariot card in the three of wands before last week so I did see movement for you guys Sagittarius so maybe this movement is associated with this clutter clearing for you four of wands so definitely clearing away the obstacles that get you that, of where you're trying to get to from point a to point b essentially um it definitely is showing to me this is the an affirmation that you're on the right path sagittarius that you're taking the right steps to get to where um your ultimate goal your point b right essentially so you're in this process of just like um Taking care of the logistics is something that I'm hearing. You're taking care of the logistics, and so eventually it's just going to get to a point where you just walk forward and it's there, right? You're really uh, laying the foundation for your future right now, I feel. It's, so this is more so seemingly coming off as like a more positive affirmation uh Sagittarius is for those that have been feeling a little bit impatient temperance card inverted probably have been a little bit hard on yourself maybe you feel as if Sagittarius you should be making more ground doing uh being able to accomplish more than where you're currently at I know my Sagittarius is probably are the most critical they are usually my Sagittarius is they're usually the ones that are just like they want to be able to pick up something and be able to be like the best at it or be their own, maybe not necessarily be the best at it, Sagittarius, but you want to be able to stand out from the crowd and what it is that you're doing. Like, it's almost in the sense of where it's just like, you just expect more out of yourself, right? Where if it's like, if it's, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it also should actually be good, at least in your sense, though, in your sense, every, like, in your sense, like, <laughs> what's good to you would be perfect to others, right? It's not being so critical. Ace of Pentacles coming in the upright. So positive message again, Sagittarius. You know I'm not just trying to just, uh, toot your own horn, darling. Toot y'all's horn. Um, this is coming in as where this is where you're heading to, right? This Ace of Pentacles is technically four of wands is like the 1111. This is what you're going to. You're going to your pot of gold, essentially. But you're being impatient. A little, a little bit of impatience, right? On like how you're 
how quickly you're reaping the benefits on how quickly your life is laying out in front of you, essentially, Sagittarius. The Ace of Cups coming in here. Two Aces coming in as a very powerful affirmation. Um, when you see two Aces as the Tarot Reader, it takes you, again, as a very strong yes affirmative in terms of usually if you, my Sagittarius are coming into a reading where they need like a yes or no on something. Uh, two Aces represents like a very positive affirming yes, the go ahead, the green light to do something uh ace of cups is a card of you opening up again to opportunity coming in to you i feel like a lot of things are going to be opening up your heart chakra is a very strong emphasis with this sagittarius and i also want to point out i think in your last week's reading if you haven't watched it a link i always have it linked around here somewhere sagittarius but I, there was an emphasis in terms of like social dynamics for y'all. So I feel like uh, heart chakra is a really good thing for you to be working on this week. So that way you're able to receive love and give radiate even stronger love to attract those people. Sagittarius. Now, darling, let's get into your social situations this week, Sagittarius. This could be romantic or this could be platonic, darling. You know your situation better than I do. This could be work. This could be family. This could be a relationship. This could be a marriage honey i don't know y'all's tea this is just a general reading right let's see what's going on peacock card what was i just saying for your general portion sagittarius we're just talking about people and how you, i think you need to open, work on your heart chakra be seen more right so you can radiate love so people are attracted to that even more not saying that you already don't radiate love right you always want to just you the point, Saji. So the peacock card, let yourself stand out and be noticed, Sagittarius, right? This is where you really want to just open your heart, be seen. I really do feel like, again, this is starting to hone in on the messages as I was saying last time, honey, of um, <laughs> you needing to network, Sagittarius, because I do feel like there's people being brought into your path um, for you to connect to. Let's see. We have the Two of Cups inverted for you. So definitely, uh, Sagittarius, is, this could be in a foreshadowing sense of where it's like you're not doing this right now, or there is already some trouble in paradise. I do feel inclined to pull two right here. It's going to fork off, I feel. So Six of Swords inverted and the Wheel card inverted. So in this situation here, Sagittarius, you guys are really clinging on to some type of old situation. I feel Sagittarius and I feel like that's part of y'all's issue. You need to stand out. Two of Cups though. Mm, let me actually pull the reins a little back a little bit. Let me calm down a little bit, Velcro. Because I feel like for some of you guys, what's blocking this Two of Cups here is more so your relationship with yourself. Like you're having an insecurity with yourself, Sagittarius. And so then that stops you from opening up to new energies. Something here, Two of Cups here inverted is showing to me either you being stuck on this energy, right? Where it's like, you know, like a toxic ex, right? As the cliche goes, right? But you can't seemingly like block their number. You consistently will text them back when a connection that's just not good for you. Because of that, that's where it's like you start, um, it's just that cycle, right? But it could be a situation, Sagittarius, I do feel like this is kind of a personal one for some of you guys, where it's just like you, you not liking certain aspects of yourself and that's what's keeping you stuck in this position now where you're kind of going being counterproductive to where where it is you're trying to go Sagittarius and that's why you're being told to be the peacock and standing out is where it's just like no you are beautiful right do you see how I was processing that Sagittarius or am I just crazy let's close this uh, row off with one more we have the Two of Swords inverted coming in here. So this is a situation of where two, two, all these cards inverted actually. So your social situation is probably your most stressful portion of your life right now, Sagittarius. Um, two of Swords inverted comes to me in the sense of where it feels like you're pretty content with... I feel like I need, it's more so, I'm going to be honest here, I don't feel like you guys are Sagittarius, I feel like you guys are going to be stuck in your ways at least this week with how you're going to be handling things. So it's one of those things where I myself have to just be like, you know what, y'all know yourself best Sagittarius, so let me not push a no narrative. Y'all know what, y'all know what's best for you, honey, so let me just mind my business, all right? Let me just mind my business. 
All right, now Sagittarius, since I minded my business with that, let's not, let me not mind my business with your social, or not your social, your career and financial situation this week. Let's see what's in the works this week here, darling, for you. Let's see what's going on for my Sagittarius's financial and career. Let's do this card right here. We have the, the mouse card. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Sagittarius. So if you didn't get it last week, darling, you're going to get it this week. Uh, the mouse card. This is what I thought I got for you last week. But hello, <laughs> Saji. So the mouse card, another message. Again, you're overlooking some important details. So pay closer attention to what's going on. Holy crap, Sagittarius. Can we appreciate this in a moment? Can we just geek out together on this for a moment? Like, wow. Um, so really, even in terms of your work life, Sagittarius, there's a key puzzle piece that you're missing here that you need to be paying attention to, truly, especially for this coming in twice. There's something that you're not considering, something that you need to keep your mind more open to, Sagittarius. Let's take a look. Let's see. We have the Knight of Swords coming in here. So you have the potential to make a lot of ground with something, but the Swords, remember, uh, Sagittarius is the card of communication. Swords are communication. So this is where, how you could, that's how the Knight of Swords really progresses. Um, also has, it's almost required for the Knight of Swords to have a strong confidence with themselves and having a good sense of the mental, because if it's even slightly sour, darling, the Knight of Swords is the most easily influenced by the mind. So if you're thinking from a more pessimistic standpoint, you could take 10 steps back, certainly. Even though like the day before you're super optimistic and more um, positive about your goal and you went five steps forward, right? It's one of those things where it's like you're super motivated at night to adopt a new healthy lifestyle. And then you wake up and you're just like, uh, actually, right? We have the Five of Pentacles coming in here. So you guys... Uh, Sagittarius is, you guys are really, um, having a little bit of a crisis when it comes to your work life. It feels like you guys are feeling a little bit, some of you guys may have feel, felt a little bit rejected. Um, I am seeing this frustration in some of you Sagittarius is where it's like you're trying to get a job somewhere, but it's almost this sense of like weird message, but it's just like this frustration of experience, like where like everything's asking for more experience and you can't get that experience because no one's allowing you because you don't care. Like, you know, it's that cycle. Knight of Wands coming in in the reverse as well. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest here. This is getting not the greatest reading in terms of your financial situation, um, Sagittarius. This is why you're being asked is to look into these situations more. Remember when I even said at the beginning, like if there's something that you're being triggered by or what have you, to look into and see why it's happening. And I feel like this is part of the reason, Sagittarius, you need to be looking at what's happening here in your work life and why you keep on getting rejections over here, why, you know, certain things end up being like a money sink. And, you know, you're. it's almost like a sense of just trying to redirect you in some way, Sagittarius, right? And then we have the Ten of Wands baggage card. Oh, yeah, this is such a heavy reading, darling. Ten of Wands heaviness, darling. Um, yeah, it's not the greatest social, I mean, keep wanting to call it social. Not the greatest uh, financial situation for you, Sagittarius. Let's close this off one last one. Queen of Swords, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys are probably feeling your most frustrated right now, Sagittarius, when it comes to your work life. Definitely, I'm not seeing it improving too much more this week. Look at what's, look at the minor details, though. look at the small details and see like where it's trying to, where your life is trying to pivot you. Um, sorry, I couldn't bring forth a happier message as a Sagittarius, but y'all know I have to just be blunt with my messages, darling. Um, but let, let me give you a quote, positive affirmation, Sagittarius, before I send you off on your way this week. Y'all know I love my affirmations, so let's see what we have for you this week. All right, so you guys, Sagittarius, got actually some other zodiac sign got this. I don't remember who. You zodiac signs, the Sag Sagittarius. It's four o'clock in the morning, Sagittarius. Forgive me. This card says, "I witness the darkness and I call on the light with my prayer. 
Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. So essentially in this quote, Sagittarius, this is a situation where you look at something that's scary and trying to see where it's pivoting you and having it teach you something. Quite literally the overall message of what I was trying to say before, Sagittarius. So instead of me rambling on for another minute on something that you kind of get the point to probably, Sagittarius, let me just say it one more time. I witness the darkness and I call on the light with my with it with my prayer uh, thank you universe for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love all right my beautiful Sagittarius thank you so much for allowing me to the opportunity to do this reading for you even though uh, I'm struggling speaking at this point but it was so much fun to do this reading for you especially with these mouse cards can anyone else appreciate this in Sagittarius can I just have a Sagittarius appreciate this moment with me with these mouse cards please um, I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, Sagittarius, let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Sagittarius, if you'd like to book a private personal reading with me, my website is simply Velka. I was listed down below in the description box and pinned comment, along with my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, all that is just simply Velka. Until next time, my beautiful Sagittarius, I love you so much.